What's good, people? Right back at you. Here to uh, share my exciting news, or what I hope is some exciting news. I think I'm done. I think I'm over. The dino. Yes. Dino. Dino flagellus is over. I hope. It's over. I'm seeing a little bit of algae hair that was growing up here, and I was I got excited. Algae hair, yes. I'll take algae hair before I take dino any day. Hopefully the battle was over. Uh, let me tell you what I did. I used the Dino X according to the directions. I used it the way it was supposed to be used. Then after I finished that, I started dosing nitrates by MA. ME corals, I started dosing the nitrates. And my phosphates are, you know what? I forgot what they were. But I'm going to tell you right now, I have phosphates because, of course, if I have algae here, that means I have phosphates. I have phosphates, excuse me. And the nitrates, they still were a little low. So I just started dosing uh, 10 mLs every other day for about two weeks now. No, no, it's been about a week and a half. So I dosed this, so I dosed the nitrates about five maybe six times i'm sure they elevated i feed heavy as you see the fish are fat and healthy uh right now it's in feed mode that's why everybody's just running around trying to find food uh i'm, I'm happy i'm happy and i hope it's over with this was a long hard fought battle and the key is dino x i support dino x I'm here to tell you Dino X works. If anyone else, it doesn't work for anyone else. They may have a different type of strand of Dino Flagellants. But with my strand of Dino Flagellants, it worked. And I haven't seen no bubble, no nothing here. I've seen a lot of algae here, though. Well, not a lot. It's on the power head right here and over here on uh, the overflows. But... Just wanted to make this little video to show you guys my progress. It doesn't look nothing like my tank. And when I say my tank, if you go back and look at some of the old videos, you will understand my frustrations right now with this tank. And I hope that the dyno is gone. Tomorrow I'm gonna to do a I'm gonna do a 20 gallon water change. This is a 150 gallon display. I'm going to do at least a 20 gallon water change tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to, I may put in some uh, charcoal for tonight. Overnight, all I have right now is some Kimmy Clean. I mean, uh, Kimmy Pure. I'm going to leave it in there for about a good week after I do the water change. And hopefully, you know, everything will go back to normal to the way it used to be when I can just have everything in here glowing. And what I mean by glowing, I mean coral everywhere. That's my next move. But just wanted to let you guys know the progress. Some have asked about it. But here you go. Here, here's the video. Oh, I've I've took a couple casualties, as you see, if you've seen my tank in the past. I lost my uh yellow tang. The weird part is about the yellow tang, the yellow tang always had an issue with his eye. And I've noticed that his eye, as after I put him in the tank, after well, after I brought him, I noticed there's something with his eye. It could have been something with his eye already, but he lasts about two years in here. No, about a, no, it's about a year, about a year. He lasts in here about a year. Then also my uh, orange shoulder, they both die suddenly, and my uh, my copper band. But I always find that copper bands are hard to keep anyway. But I'm not going to drag this video out. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm seeing progress. As you see, the sand is clear. Well, it's a little dirty because I need to do a water change. But it's not the heavy brown soot all over it. And I'm happy. Now, it blew out. Blew a hole right in here. I'm considering even adding more live sand to it just to bring the, the sand bed back because... I have a goby. He's taking all the damn sand from the front and taking it to the back. So, 
I'm not gonna drag it out, as I said before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it right here. Peace.